Hello, I'm introducing welcome back to Being Planetary. We're doing well. We're we're very much in charge on this map. I mean to say on this map, like it's a solar system, but who do we want to hit? I almost feel we want to hit player three to just start like taking them out. But player three has seemed to have broke, so we we can take them out any time. I think hitting like this player probably gonna do it. Like we're not gonna get a particularly good shot at you, so player two. I think you have to be player two. So aim about there, because they're going to move forwards. We should catch them in the rear. Right, what are we going to get for shots here? There are some things in the way, so doing a slow shot probably won't work. Doing a fast shot? No, so I think we have to go for the slow shot. Now this is going to cause some uh, issues. Can't really do a shot from behind, because there is a planet there. You can see that the planet's blocking us. Um, this planet here is going to cause us to wibble. Which way is the planet going? Yeah, wibble is a technical term, by the way, if you didn't know. Uh, when you're firing, uh, you know, thrusters and stuff, and you're taking into account gravity, it's called wibbling. Uh, so that's going to move... I did check. It's moving away, so it's going to have less influence. So we should aim something like that. Oh, God. Is there another planet? There's another planet there. Which way is that planet moving? It's moving away, so that's going to have less inf... Oh, my God. This is going to be a difficult shot. I think this is going to be, you know, luck of the draw shot, really. So less influence, so we should aim there. Again. We're just going to start spraying and praying. Hopefully catch them with something. I mean, honestly, just catching something, forcing them to continually repair. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. Don't know how it's going to work in practice, but we'll try it. As soon as we have the solar laser online, though, we should be able to start taking people down. Right. A few more shots. Like, at the end of the day, we're firing the shots because we can. We don't have a worry about, you know, power, etc. Less influence. I should actually put some out here. Yeah, less influence. I should put some out here. Where's the innest one? Innest one? Most far in one. Innist? Really? Did I just use the word? I just came up with the word innist. Just invented an entire new word because I was lazy about the English language. I'm a terrible, terrible person. I feel bad. I should feel bad. The English language was developed for exactly this reason. Alright, let's try this. Don't know if it's going to work. We'll give it a go. Next turn. Play three. I cannot wait to kill you. Okay. Give me the turn. Give me the turn. Give me the turn. Give me the turn. Please give me the turn. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be when I shoot you in the knee? There we go. Came with that on the spot. TM enter Elysium. TM? Trademark? Well, that's not a trademark. It will be copyrighted enter Elysium because it's a song. Trademark supplies to logos. There we go. Just, just unless you were aware. The DMCA is the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. So it applies to copyrights. does not apply to logos. It specifically does not apply to your logo. So, anyone going, Oh, they showed my logo! DMCA that video! Which has happened before. Uh, no. Doesn't work. DMCA only applies to copyright, not logos. There has been a court case about that, and it was thrown out because it did apply to copyright, and they were claiming on a logo, and, you know, whatever. So, just interesting fact. And by interesting, I mean, you know, it might be interesting to me. And by might, I mean it is. But, you know, it might not be to you. I mean, as a, as a person making videos on YouTube, the DMCA comes up a lot. And everyone's like, DMCA, I really don't want the DMCA. And, you know, other related songs. Uh, but, you know, the DMCA, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, is what everyone uses, like, to take down content online. It allows safe hard provisions, which means, like, if I have a website and I allow people to take stuff down with the DMCA, I'm not going to get sued for hosting that. Which is, you know, like, useful. Like, I see the purpose of it, but people make false claims on the DMCA. And stuff like YouTube, they use, like, takedowns that aren't even related to the DMCA. Like, they don't have to file a formal complaint. Uh, that, that is an issue. Um, but the DMCA is, is I mean, generally, I would say it's a useful thing. Uh, it's got a couple of issues, probably, but, you know, it's a useful thing. But, uh, when people are like, oh, you know, I use my logo, it's like, well, that's your logo. Copyright doesn't apply to logos. Because if I'm, like, right, if I'm, if I'm a news show, and I'm, like, recently, um... Magic Petroleum. I'm just making up a company, right? Just so I don't get like a lawsuit. Um, spilled millions of gallons of oil out of an oil rig that was built wrong and some deep sea drilling. Oh my god, we just got shot. That's unfair. You're going to die. That was a solar laser, I think. We hit them. Awesome. Can we hit them? Yes, yes. 
Uh, only a little bit. We did kill a city, though. 18 buildings destroyed. Yeah, okay. um, but yeah, like if Magic magic Petroleum, right, manages to break uh, an undersea or deep sea oil like pipeline because they built it wrong and they covered America in oil uh, and a news report put their logo on this news report and they were like, we're going to DMCO that. Like, you can't because the purpose of... Oh my god, they are solar lasering my city. This city's going to die. That is harsh. I mean, that's what the solar laser's for. No super weapons. It's player four. It's player four. I know it. Oh, wait. Zero cities? You dead? I think you're dead. You've got zero cities. Oh, I can't see your cities. That makes sense. Okay. That solves that problem. We're fine. We're good. Don't worry. We're good. Okay. Um... Right. But yeah, like, the logo is the description of your company. It's like the, the company name. I have to be able to say the company name to refer to the company. You can't be like, oh, you said the company name. Like, the, if you're, like, deflaming the company, that's different. And there is a law for that. It's called defamation. Um, well, actually, I don't think it is. It might be defamation character. It might be level of slander. It depends on what you're saying. But the point is that there's a law for that. Can I not build this? Really? Why? I can. I would buy that at least. Um, I need to. I can't build anything. Okay. Um, I think we're good to go. Oh, we gotta be careful. How's our power situation looking? Two turns left. I think we actually need the power situation now, and I can't. We we can't make this this turn. Sell. So. Make it next turn. Need the power. You need. To, you really need to die. Really badly. That looks like a straight shot. They'll go forwards. They'll turn around a little bit, and we should hit them. In theory. Oh no! That planet's gonna. Oh, there's a planet in the way. That really annoys me. And it's going to come forward. It's probably going to block the shot. We're going to try. We have to try. <sighs> Let's see. If we get railgun shots, I won't. Can we get railgun shots? Yes. Right. Now imagine those ones on the inside are probably going to miss. That's fine. Can't really get any better shots of them. Okay, Astro Diversion. I think we have to take the shot. Now the other like, choice is we could take a long shot against the orange. It's not a long, long shot, but it's, you know, it's a little bit iffy. Or we could take a shot against the little yellow dude over here. But Yellow Dude might be out. Yellow Dude is out of the game. No, we can't see cities. Yeah, we need to hit Yellow Dude. Right. Now. We could build a couple of these. Just a couple. Oh, it's tempting. I think we build one telescope array. Just one. I don't want to attach... There we go. Okay. Take the turn. Actually, no. That needs to be slightly further out. Next player. Right. <sighs> Player two. Now player two is taking ages. Really? I mean, if you don't want to do anything, that's fine. 
I'm mean, playful and worried about that. Player three. Okay, they're actually really thinking about it. Like they're not just stuck looping. They're just really thinking. I mean, I could tell if I move the camera for the frame rate, but I don't want to move the camera because then it'll go crazy because I don't know. Like I don't get the feedback until like a second later where the frame goes dot dot dot. Okay, player three is definitely having issues, and they'll have even more issues when they've got an asteroid up their their face up their face. Anyway, um, so speaking of faces. I don't know. I had no, no, no idea was going in that. I was like, you know, I will think of something. You know what? My brain completely failed me. Have you ever done that? You've started a sentence and you've just been like, well, of course you have. They, everyone does it. But you start a sentence and you're like, I have no idea where I was going with this. And you've got this choice, right? You can either own up to it. You can tail off and be like, oh, yeah, it was, it was a funny story. It doesn't matter. It was, it was, it was, it was. Or you can be like, um, yeah, faces. How about them? And then everyone looks at you like, yeah. So? Like, I tend to go with the own up part. Like, I, I am own up right now. I'm like, you know, you are, sorry, I have no idea where I was going with that. And you'd be like, everyone just looks at you and you're like, okay. Like, there's, there's like the guaranteed failure, right? You guaranteed to lose standing, but it's only a little bit of standing. If you go with the, you know, you try and make it work, it's possible you might be able to pull a joke out of it. So you're playing the long shot, and if it works, cool. No f loss of face. But if it doesn't work, a bit more loss of face, because everyone's like, uh, okay. So, you know, you tend to run, you know, you, you, you've got options there, right? It's, it's, a, it's a moral dilemma. By moral dilemma, I mean there's, like, no morals involved whatsoever. Like, it's not anything to do with morals. Um, but, you know, you've got this choice. And you have to make it in a split second. And, you know, you probably should just own up to it. But, you know, you sometimes... I say you know way too much. Sometimes you're like, I'm just going to run with this. I'm going to run with this. I hope... Ah! No, and you just crash and burn. And you're like, yeah, faces. How about them? I don't even know how we got on this topic. I think I said something about hitting someone in the face with an asteroid. Um, I mean, hitting you in the face with an asteroid would be pretty painful. It depends what speed you're going relative to the asteroid, because, you know, uh, as our asteroids relative to the Earth, I mean, space objects. Space is big, so you tend to be moving at relatively fast velocities compared to each other. So, you know, if you're a, a person... There we go, we got lasered, and... Yep, that's against green. Nice. And yeah, we got an entire asteroid against him. We killed a city. I'm happy with that turn. I'm really happy with that turn. Uh, but yeah, if you get hit by an asteroid, like, it depends what, what speed are you going. I mean, if you, like, put yourself 100 meters from an asteroid and then gravity slow towards the asteroid, it'll be slow. You'll probably, like, be fine. Depends on the weight of the asteroid, like, the mass. Um, actually, if you're going zero and you're next to an object and you've got distance, I don't know. We'll have to... I mean, it's almost... I was like, we'll have to do a calculation. I'm like, I can't really be bothered. Uh, but, you know, this is, a, this is an easy shot. There's only one person we can really get a straight line on. And it will be you. All over your face. I will asteroid all over your face. Uh, oh, we can't actually get a straight shot. Excellent. Can't get a straight shot. Okay. And my gun has disappeared. What? Can we stop doing this, right? This is annoying. This is annoying. Interplanetary. Please fix. And by interplanetary, please fix. I'm not, like, asking the game to fix itself. That would be a little bit concerning if the AI was that good. We detect your having problems. Let me just rewrite the operating code. The machine uprising would truly be among us. I'm actually going to fire there because as we move forward, we'll influence it and it'll come back. There we go. Asteroid diversion. Only one real target here. I'm happy to do it again. That should be fine. Okay. And build solar laser. It's going to take our power down a bit. But I think we're going to be fine on that one. Put it here. Kinetic defense. Acceptable. Oh, and we need to open up a new power thing, don't we? Um, I think we'll be fine for this turn. I think it's the next turn we have to do it. I mean, if we fail, it's just a just a turn of waiting. Player 2 knows what Player 2 wants to do. Player 3 is dubious. And I'd like to hit Player 4 again. Like, Player 4 is the one I'm a little bit concerned about. I think Player 4 has the solar laser. 
And of course they will target me because I have uh, you know, super weapons. I have decent cities. And that super laser can take down a city in one shot conceivably if they upgrade it right. Otherwise it does a lot of damage. Like, you know, we're still, like, up here. The one with two slots of population. That's because we got hit with a solar laser. I could have had a look at player three actually this turn. I have enough intel. They've got enough damage that I probably could have had a look at them. Oh well. Let's see. What do we get? I will upgrade the solar laser, by the way. I'll upgrade it to make sure it's got max damage against population. So we'll start poaching cities. We'll be like, boop. That city's gone. Boop. That city's gone. Now, hopefully, people's cities will be pretty damaged from the fact we've been bombarding them for ages. Player four, I hope you've, like, failed to do anything because you're, like, broken and, like, yeah, don't shoot. Don't shoot, mate. And we did hit them pretty hard. Oh, we're simulating. Okay. So we defended. We got some hits. Asteroid missed. Okay. We got some hits. That's fine. I wonder if these are going to be hits. They could. They could. Oh. One hit. Yeah, we got a hit. Three cities damaged. Seven buildings destroyed. Twenty-seven buildings damaged. I think that's a good, good round. Project ended. Yeah, we need to put a new project on. Okay. Um. You've got that project going on. You need that project going on. And we're looking pretty good. Question is, what do we have on Intel? We can see everything on player three. Why can I not see it then? Enemy structures visible. Am I looking at the wrong player? Yes. It lies to me. The city up there, badly damaged. Where's the other city? There. Pretty badly damaged. Okay. What about player two? Oh, God, look at that. We wrecked ourselves. Okay. We'll see what the solar laser can hit. But I'm keen to use the solar laser to do some craziness. Okay. We can hit player three. No, wrong player. Right, we can hit player three. Yes, okay. Where is the city? Cannot hit. What about your city on the north? Yes, we can. I'm sorry. Your city is dead. Right, can we get a shot on green? We can. There is things in the way. Okay, where are you moving? Away and away, which means that it will be influenced less. Same about there. It there. It'll pull inwards. Okay. Right, now for our normal railguns. Easy choice. Hello, player two. You're probably very disappointed with us by now. But it has to happen. There we go. Ooh, ooh, okay. Can I get a shot on anyone with this? We'll try it. I mean, it's gonna miss because uh, this guy's gonna move. We'll line the puppy up, though. I can't find this last one, though. No. Cannot find the last one. Right. Let's give this a watch. No technology. Okay. Um, I was meant to upgrade the... The solar laser, but I don't think we're going to get shot on anyone for a while, so I won't upgrade it. Right. What are we looking for? We'll get early one. There are many things we could get. We'll, we'll upgrade this. We'll get the upgrades. Right. What is it? That's not the right one. Concentrated pulse beam. Population damage. Okay, yeah. Want low intensity damage, long time. Okay, cool. Next player. 
Oh, the players are really having to think about it now. All right, so we're expecting a, an Astrid coming at player four. We're expecting uh, long shots against player four, and we're expecting player two to get pretty heavily pounded. We'll zoom in a little bit further in. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Now, of course, this is a bit of a shot to get this guy. This guy's in the way we're compensating for, and there's two plants in the way we're compensating for. But we'll give it a, we'll give it a hope. We'll give it a try. Our hopes and dreams are on, on our shots here. Hitting player four is, like, always a good plan, because player four is the one I'm a little bit afraid of. Like, player two isn't doing much. Player three is doing nothing. Um, so just poaching player three out of the game with the solar laser. Fine, and we can see them. Player four is the one I'm worried about. Because they have managed to get a, a solar laser on board before. Don't know if they still have it. There we go, that's a lot of hits there. No, that's a miss. We did get a hit with a long shot. Okay. 19 bonus destroyed. One, two cities destroyed. Two cities? I think we must have got a city on the, uh, the player four. Uh, and 29 bonus damage. That seems like a great combination to me. That's a miss. Which is a shame, though. Well. I'm happy with how that turn went. Multitasker. I just got an achievement. What's this? Fire all super weapons during the same turn. Ah, it wasn't too hard. Uh, we're going to call it here for this episode. I mean, I really see you. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you have, remember to like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. But we'll continue in the planetary next time. And I think we're getting to the point where we can start poaching enemy cities because if we have a look at the intelligence view, we can see a reason about this guy. Still, oh, look at that. And over here, here's one city left. Uh, we can't sell it this time. It's on the dark side, as you can see. So... There won't be any so laser firing this turn. But anyway, until next time, stay shiny.